first thing, let's level up. We want to get this to 15. Because why not? Why not get this up to 16 so we get one more slot? What are we left with? Let's just, yeah, let's just go. Let's go for it. Um. Some int. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's going to pay me to do this, but. It must be done. You just can't... You just can't look at our, our stats until we level up again. I believe we got a bone dust, as we did. Make the bonfire fart out some excess. Make it better. Bottle that right up. Oh, yeah. And we'll spend the rest on... Life gems. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Let's talk to Shalakwal, the kitty cat, see if she has anything new to say. Once again, I'm not entirely sure what triggers her, her new dialogue, but she'll talk to you period periodically. I think it's only when you kill the big four, but oh. we'll find out. <laughs> you do. She, she tells that joke every time. Okay, I know you know who I am now. Have you made friends with the man that Yes, he's you sad. You so I made a, I made him my friend. Okay. Nothing soon. Nope. Are you keeping things? Where's the cat keeping things that I can't just take? Them? What's a cat gonna do? All right, I think we're suited up, ready to roll. Two huntsman's cops. At the undead lockway. And I'm just gonna run through a whole bunch of s skeletons to get to where we need to go. I'm not even gonna bother killing them. They're already dead. Stop, don't laugh at me. Okay? You're just you're just jealous of my my sweet bod. Your pot. Ooh. Never gonna catch me. A loud waterfall incoming. That's the true boss. Of this area is that loud ass waterfall. Okay. Just admiring all the skeletons once more. So that's bridge. And luckily the lever is right next to it. Uh, first time I played this, I think I kind of got stuck here. I didn't notice that door that led from the uh, uh, skeleton lords lead me out here for some reason. I'm not quite sure, but I remember getting stuck. I see another kind of shift in geography here. And a ladder that you don't need. But you can't climb back up. But you're stuck here, bucko. This is Harvest Valley. And that is a friend. Hi, friend. There's a woman over here, too. Are you a traveler? I'm Cloanne, an ore stone trader. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. I never planned to visit this godsforsaken place. But I don't know. 
I just sort of ended up here. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smithing. Ah, oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> Have extras if you can pay. This is my trade after all. <laughs> uh, like she said, her name is Colin, and uh, around here you'll no uh, find a bunch of messages uh, to the effect of amazing chest ahead and stuff like that. And uh, as you can probably tell, that's because this dude over here has got a rack on him. Look at them ribs. Talk to her some more. Do you need something? I came here in search of rare stones, but the place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted, but I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake? How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Perhaps we'll meet again, if we live that long. <laughs> and I've I believe that's it, yep. I've uh, as you can probably guess, she's gonna move to Majula. Um... Loanne is not the most interesting NPC in the game. Uh, she does have interesting parts to her, and I don't, I don't mean those parts, you scallywag. Um, but it's mostly with how she deals with another character. Um, but she does mention that she does not remember how she got here, so her memory is failing, even though she looks perfectly human. Uh, she's also looking at a skull there. That's not a stone. I don't know if you know that. But she sells you upgrade materials, mostly. Uh, right now it's just Titanite Shard, but she'll get more as the game progresses. And it's mostly a convenience feature, so that you don't have to go to McDuff every time you want some large Titanite Shards. And she'll also sell these, which are interesting. Uh, one of the Lost Miracles... or this is Soul Appease. One of the Lost Miracles preserved only in the Undead Crypt. Inflicts heavy damage on Mindless Hollows, but has no effect on anything else. The Undead Crypt is a place of rest for the living. Those afflicted by the curse can only pray to one day gain entrance. Interesting name for a place of rest for the living, but we'll come to that later. And dead again. Hex that casts a dark flame upon corpses, causing them to bust violently. Hexes such as these that tamper with the life itself are particularly abhorred. A uh, catalyst staff. That means is it you need a staff to cast this hex. Like I said, hexes are either miracles or sorceries, essentially, and they either cast off staffs or chimes. I believe there are some that can do both. Um, Dead Again is not very useful, but it is pretty cool. I'll say that. I suppose it's I'm, I'm glad they have a lot of flavor, flavor hexes and stuff like that. Now, the reason she's here, like she said, is to look for stones and ore and such as that. And that's because this is a mining facility. But as you can also tell from looking down here, it's not it's not doing too good. It doesn't look like. There's a lot of hollows down there. There's that big thing over there with a little thing on top of it. And this big tower. It's a castle looking thing there. And over here, there's a bonfire, but I don't want to walk in this goopy stuff, but I have no choice. 
Oh, it's poison. Oh my. You just see it. If I submerge myself in it, I become all gooey and icky. I like I like how it's uh. It changes it. The texture goes on your character based on uh. How deep in you go. It looks it's a good effect. We'll rest to get rid of that. Um, the more you cover yourself in, I believe the faster you do get poisoned. See, it stays on you for a while and poisons you, but I think since it's just on our legs, it'll run out before it can actually poison us. And as you can see, she, she is gone. Now, that's poison. Down here, uh, this guy is listening. What you, what you listening to? Oh, that is absurdly racist, sir. I don't know why you're listening to such filth. That down there is poisonous gas. So are they mining poison? Poisoning their mines? Um, I've seen the idea that they are indeed mining poison. I have a slightly different theory. I think that uh, this was here. This is... Uh, we just came from the Huntsman's Cops, which we said was set up by the old Iron King. This, um, mining facility is also set up by the old Iron King. And I think as everything here hollowed, much like in the Huntsman's Cops, um, they just kept mining because their hollowed, the hollows do what they were doing before. That's why all the soldiers attack the giant corpses and stuff like that. And they just, uh, hit poison. There's... I mean, arsenic, lead, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, general descript, it's described as just poison, like, they don't tell you what kind of poison it is, but, that's what I believe happened, and they just keep mining, we get poison down here, but we want all this loot, so actually, let me get out of here, hopefully I did not just, oh, I did, you gonna do it? You, you wanna step? No. See? He's afraid of us. Um, I'm going to put on some of our poison moss we got from those butterflies. Just in case. Uh, life gems I usually use. Just to keep up with the poison. Because I usually, like, don't bother too much with, uh... Oh, an Estus shard. With getting out of that. But you, there's this little... Uh, thing here that is a safe spot. Actually, I'm just gonna shoot these. Titanite shards. There's a lot of Titanite shards here. Uh, this... The game gets a little bit harder after this point and kind of during it. And so they give you uh, a lot of upgrade. That's not what I want to do. They give you a lot of upgrade materials here. Just to make sure you got at least one weapon I can handle it. My guy has a short aggro range. Just him. And that's a good thing. Which I'll show you a little later. After I get all this shit up. I said one will stabilize you usually. And life gems are additive, so if you put two, you usually start going up in life, actually. Yeah, so just a bunch of upgrade materials. The Estus Flask is probably the most useful thing there, although that Chitonite chunk will be quite useful. And you see, the uh, poison actually will run out while you're in the poison and start to rebuild. Now, these things are like overseers for the mining. They used prisoners, probably from the Huntsman's Cops, to uh, mine and put the undead to work. And these guys, the guys riding on top of the big guys, are were the overseers. Now, what the big guys are, I'm not entirely sure. But they do throw big orbs of death at you. That will basically one-shot you. Now, 
why they do that, I'm also not quite sure. Another chunk. Now, actually, if you're having issues, uh, they are actually, once you get, get them down, get their pattern down, and, uh, find out ways to take them down from range, it's pretty good for farming souls, if you need them. Another fragrant branch of your and our buddy! Does. Gavlin is still wheeling and dealing. He doesn't do much else. He does... He is a bit more than just the selling guy. But that will be later on. Raw stone. That'll let us infuse a weapon with raw. Um, not something we really want to do. But maybe for a uh, another build be useful. He came to life, but he didn't. I'm trying to scare me, freaking skeletons. Uh, this chest is hard to find. Most people won't do it, but it, it contains a fire seed, which is important if you want to be a pyromancer, as the name suggests. You need these to upgrade your pyromancy flame. Originally, in the first Dark Souls, to do that, you just needed souls, but you have to kind of go on an, uh, an easter egg hut hunt for these fire seeds. Because that's their only purpose. I'm not looking in the right place for it. There it is. A tiny, tiny waning flame used to strengthen a pyromancy flame. A pyromancy flame serves as the catalyst for pyromancies and scales the strength of each spell according to its level. Uh, fire is a common object of worship. It can never be grasped, grasped, and its mystery stokes the human imagination. So, more reference to fire being uh, linked to humanity and what makes us human. Now, the actual tooltip image there of the fire seed is also important, but we'll get to that in light hard. Now this area can be kind of a butthole. You see those uh, that lady up there? This will be your first introduction to one of them. And they're uh, rather nice armor set. They throw fireballs at you. And uh, those, those fireballs hurt. And they got a couple of them. So we're gonna go up here or out of the range now. Get this. Hexinger. Did I read? I haven't, I don't think I've gotten Hexinger. A uh, hexed black lacquer urn explodes, inflicting dark damage. With the dark art of hexing strictly forbidden, who would dare to fill an urn with such power? The very origins of the art are unclear, yet another reason hexing is feared. Um, these are basically fire bombs, like the witching urn, except they do dark damage instead of fire or magic damage. I like that they added different uh, bombs different uh of damage. I can throw stuff too, I can magic too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're cool. Now they do drop that armor they're wearing. Um and as you can probably guess a lot of people uh spend some time farming it for their characters. Uh, became so, uh, well known that it's, uh, one of the few, uh, armor sets that made it into Dark Souls 3 from Dark Souls 
Uh, it was just in the last DLC. Now that fireball explodes like that, and that might have hit us if we were a little too uh, slow, and then they have that. So they are fairly dangerous. They also have a grab they can rarely do to pick it up. Oh. See, that is very quick combustion like attack. I'm just gonna go up there and smack her one. Oh no. Whoa. Okay. Alright, lady. Alright. Your butt your buddy's not gonna help you here. Soul arrow! Soul arrow! Magic missile! Both the dusk herb and a magic stone. Magic stone will let us uh, infuse a weapon with magic, like our mace here. Uh, so if we want to switch to another weapon, we can do so and make it all magic -y. Now these are the prisoner hollows from the huntsman cops, and that, those are likely the the uh, workers, or were the workers. I suppose they still are the workers. And there's a bonfire. And a bunch of urns filled with poison. Now this is uh, why some people believe that they're actually, the purpose was to mine poison. That's not the only reason that's going on. Um, again, I, I like my theory because I came up with it. Okay. It's mine. But, also they could just be trying to store whatever they're mining. They just don't know what they're mining. Who knows? Now, as you see, there's a bunch of crystal lizards over there. Well, there's a bunch of holes in the ground, too. And that one's running away, and he just ran into a hole. So it's hard to get these guys. Do it, Solero. Yeah. You pretty much can only get one at a time. Unless you can one-shot them from far away. Um, and there's a lot of branching paths here. And some of them you don't really want to go down, because <laughs> they kind of only lead to uh, misery and sorrow. But we're going to go down, because we ain't afraid. So, uh, one of those artificial undead, the giant pudge-looking guys. Um, and they're kind of all over over here. And they're going to trap me in here. The jerks they are. And they have quite a bit more health, and I'm probably going to die. Let me throw! No, I'm dead. Yeah, that's why this place over here is filled with misery and sorrow. But we're, we'll do it. We're gonna do it, boy. Yeah, they have quite a lot of health in this area. More than they did in the forest. See if we can get another one of these crystal lizards. I'm a lizard, and I want your lizard. A pale stone, I believe, lets you do the enchanted infusion. Okay, let's not go that way. Let's take go this way and have this boy scare us. <laughs> Now you actually, I forgot, want to make that guy break this. I believe that's the only way. So I'll do that uh, later. Show you what's in there. There's a chest down here. In a place that doesn't look fun to go. As you can probably guess, that is poison down there. Poison is a thing. I got a poison stone, which will let me make my... A weapon do poison damage and po rotten pine resin that makes that temporarily makes me do poison damage. Now it's very hard to see in here without a torch. There's something coming at me. Drink, please. Quickly. There you go. And stay.
stabilize and get my uh, butterfly. Where are my butterflies at? There you go. See, the torch kind of disperses the gas a little bit. But again, makes it so you can't use a shield or a weapon in your offhand. That just leads us back up here. So I'm going to rest to respawn that guy. if we can get this last no that's the, that's probably the hardest one to get if you can't one shot them all right fella throw that orb over here come on come on come on oh he hit me with as you can tell it does a lot of damage Come on. No, don't do that. That's not what I want you to do. Now I gotta heal. Taking this he's being very uncooperative. Okay, you gotta I gave you the script, you gotta follow it, right? Come on. There you go. Thank you. Now go away. So, an old knight pike and an old knight great shield. Now these, I don't believe, say anything different from the other old knight stuff, but we'll check. Where's this pike? Old knight pike. Old knight pike, there you go. Yeah, sometimes just as a thing falls to pieces, it unleashes its last great flash of power. And the great shield is that big shield that they use. Now, these boys are very unkind to us, so I'm going to try to hit this one. From over here. Come on. You know what? Let's... Accuracy by volume. Let's do it. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Oops. A bunch of them. Oh. That's a little brother. Uh -huh. Oh, good hit. Oh, oh. Let me back, Scotty, please. There you go. do that while you're blocking, you do that little staggered stun animation, it's basically a nice, it's not good, you probably guess. Okay, we have conquered the bullies. Now we don't need, thankfully, to get one of the enemies to break these, and we can just smash them with our big mace. You see all the mining equipment here. That's why I, would, I felt good enough to just go ahead and tell you it was a mining place because they don't exactly hide it. 
Probably heard something in there. Another one of those spices. Which again, we probably won't make much use of since we're going straight intelligence build for the most part. So they're not overly useful for us. That could be. Good old petrified something. We'll turn that, we have to remember to turn that into the crows. Here's another poison pit. So this time we'll come prepared. Actually, this one might just kill me. Yep, that one just kills you. That's a, that's a nice little joke that the uh, developers play on you. And, uh, um, uh, fuck you from software for that. Now look at me. It's okay. Now we can go along the correct path. Stop running! I'm so scared. Uh, this, these guys, you want to fight up here because they can't aim up. So if you have any range, do this, and they can't touch you as long as you don't get too close to the edge. Another variation on uh, the big boy, so, and they got big hammers. They hack a wall, but they can be backstabbed. And they have pretty low health for how big they are. And as you can tell, there's a pyromancer somewhere throwing a bunch of pyromancers. Oh, you sir are a survivor. Okay, I'm proud of you. Oh, but you must die. And you can tell over there, there's something crouching up there. Stop. Did you stop? Did you just stop? Now there's a bunch of entrances to this place, but we'll hold off on that for now. We'll drop down here and see what there is to get. Slabs are uh, very precious. They are the final ingredient needed to upgrade your weapons. Or to upgrade normal weapons, at least. Probably here, the skeleton came up. But we deal blunt damage. <laughs> I don't think blunt damage is actually the correct term for it in this game. Dragon charm, we'll have to read that in the washing pole. Now, that's not actually a washing pole. You cannot do laundry with it. It will cut up all your clothes. And okay, all our clothes that already looks cut up, but it, it'll just snap them and ruin everything. I won't do it. Stop telling me to do it. Um, that's all that's here, if I can remember how to get back up. There you go. Now, to get over there, you have to do this jump there. There's more in here. I believe that's the end of it. I'm going to use this butterfly just in case. That's the end of it. And you get basically nothing for it. And up there is where the crystal lizards drop down. Oh, nice hit. Let's take a drinky poop to speed up speed that up. And we're not gonna be going into this big 
tower windmill castle thing. Just yet. We're gonna go over here. Now you can tell this place is ripe for ambushes. But there isn't any in this version of the game, and instead there's this. ruined it all. Uh, this is the Sunlight Covenant. It is the primary co-op based covenant. Um, what you do is you join Heirs of the Sun. There we go. Where is Sun Bro now? Um, and you do co-op. And every time you kill a boss, you'll get a Sunlight Medal. You bring it here and you get cool stuff for doing that. Um, there's no NPC related to it. Uh, as you can tell, this statue here is all broken up. Um, it's difficult to tell you exactly what uh, the Sunlight Covenant is all about without going really deep into Dark Souls 1, so I'm not really going to do that right away. At least. I might do an episode later on where I talk much more in depth on the uh, how Dark Souls 2 fits in the overall series, but I want to keep this mostly just about what happens in this game. Uh, the Sun Seal. Rings of the Heirs of the Sun Covenant. Slightly increases miracle attack power. Worship, or, worship of the Sun. Now, now I lost belief, and I need to, ah, I can't read today. Worship of the Sun. Now a lost belief was once widespread amongst great warriors. Members of this covenant can leave their golden signs to be more easily summoned to join brethren in jolly cooperation. That is a reference to Solaire, who, even if you've never played Dark Souls before, you probably have heard about. He does that praise the sun thing. And he's a, he's a meany boy. He's been mean. He's a mean boy. Now we'll go in. I'm probably not going to do... Th that's it for the Harvest Valley. The Harvest Valley is mostly just a uh, introduction for the much longer level to come. I'm probably just going to defeat the first boss in this level. And then leave the one, uh, the uh, final one, the rest of the level, for the uh, next time I stream. These pots, as this person has so thankfully... Uh, demonstrated are filled with poison, so if you break them, you get poisoned, and he's just gonna kill himself. Yeah, he, was, he was gonna hit me, so I didn't put him out of his misery. You can also drop down there, or go in through there, where there's also a bunch of poison pots, and this dude will also demonstrate that they're filled with poison. He used to just stand on the side here and spook you. They changed that, but kept the freaking death drop. Okay, we're gonna go up again, because they still have that. You can tell this thing doesn't have a head, so it's probably not human. Probably. Dark Souls works on some weird logic, but I'm pretty sure you need a head still. Although, who knows? What if you chopped off a hollow's head? Would it still come back? I guess so, because uh, we come back in a different place. Who knows? Who knows? Mannequin claws. Where are you? There you are. Claws used by the mannequins of Harvest Valley. The peculiar art of puppetry is a vestige of the two lost lands. The queen, entranced by poison, used it to beckon unknowing souls to the defiled valley. Now here's where things get a little convoluted for me. Because there's references that the old Iron King uses the ore from the mine in Harvest Valley. But then it talks about the two lost places and the queen that loves poison. 
I think this is Drain Lake in all the geography and all of the dimension verging, merging and you know, time dilation and oh god, what's going on kind of stuff. It gets kind of wacky. So I don't think this tower here really fits with the rest of the area. And especially not with the area we just came from. So I think that this uh, preceding area is actually not explicitly supposed to to be right next to the uh, tower here, or the uh, Harvest Valley, the Earthen Peak. There it is. This is the Earthen Peak. To stop. I think that I don't know. They've never explicitly told us how the uh, locations moving really works in Dark Souls, in any of the Dark Souls. And um, I think maybe. You know, they hit poison, so there's a bunch of poison, so naturally it just moves over to... I don't know, the Earthen Peak just moved here because it was close to poison, and the Queen wants poison. So she kind of set up shop. Who knows? My theory's probably just wrong. But... I'm not gonna go on that logic. Because that would mean I'm wrong, and I don't like that. I don't like that idea at all. The mannequins are interesting, not just because they're mannequins that can walk around and stab us, but also they, I don't believe, are the same are from the same uh, source of power that the other golems, we, like the ruined sentinels, and possibly the old knights. I don't think they're from the same thing. As the, those claws stated, uh, the, lo the art of puppetry is lost. Now what the difference is, I don't know. But I believe it is intended that they're different. I don't know, I like them. Definitely will get poisoned going through here. Pear powder, which is nice because it could take a little bit to get the new next bonfire. Pharaoh's lockstone, or Pharaoh's uh, wall thing. And there's our buddy. She used to not be here. That's why I was kind of surprised to see her here. She was further in. Now I do remember she's indeed here. Still on the road. Sorry to have burdened you so. This is for you. By way of an apology. I found the thoughts growing hazy. My memories are fading, oldest first. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened, terribly so. If everything should fade, to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mirror. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him. Not once. But then, one day, he was gone. Lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. someone would hear my tale. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. If only someone would hear my brother soon. Um, learning a little bit more about, um, Lucatiel here. Uh, now, she goes rather quickly from, uh, cold standoffish warrior lady who wants to fight us to uh, basically one of the nicest people to us here and uh, I mean it's not exactly a 
super intelligent observation, but it's because of her uh, affliction, because of the curse, which we share, but we don't really talk, so we don't really know <laughs> about our memories and such like that. But losing your memories like that would be quite a scary thing, and I think she would look for uh, any kind of companionship or... And like she said, if only someone would hear her tale, because that's the only way anybody's going to remember uh, her life, because she's slowly losing it, and that would be a, a very scary thing indeed. Poison bite her. And she also gave us a pretty good ring. Where was it? Ring of Steel Protection. Uh, said to be the ring of the once legendary Night King. Though his tales are long forgotten, and even the greatly wizened have no recollection of his exploits. Uh, I'm not quite sure who the Night King is. To be honest with you. Probably is a reference to a Dark Souls 1 character. Yeah, I, I, I've played the, all the Dark Souls quite extensively, but mostly two, because it's, like I said, my favorite. It's my favorite. Uh, one of the several bite rings known for their peculiar design increases poison resistance. The similar, oddly disturbing design of these rings suggests a common source. Whoever the Master Craftsman was, he clearly knew his trade. The only craftsman we know is Pharos, and we just found this in behind his uh, his little contraptions there. Um, possibly him. Now that is a very useful ring for this area, so I'm gonna I guess put it on. I'm not too concerned about uh, kind of a limiting factor of the life gems. I do like the life gems. I like having uh, a constant source of healing. Especially since this game features a little bit longer levels, but that uh, poison, especially, is kind of limited by the life gems. Because in the older games, when you go through like the poison swamps and all that stuff, you do want poison resistance because it's it it it's actually diff the difference between getting poison and not. In that game, if you get poison, you're basically dead. Um, early on, at least with the life gems, you just can counteract it with life gems. Just the way life gems work, they slowly refill your HP. It's a hot for a dot. Now we will go to the upwards path. It's a big boy. I want to lure him out there so we don't get uh, fireballs. We'll helpfully break a few more of those pots. Whoa. His hammer's a lot bigger than mine, but uh, mine hits harder. The mace and hammer. I don't think a mace counts as a hammer, technically. It's more of a club. But we don't even get under her, as long as she doesn't cast that delayed fireball. Uh, that bug there will po poison you. I believe these would be creations of the queen that the mannequin claws mentioned. She loves she loves her some poison. Don't. Now the exact origins of the desert sorceresses are kind of murky because uh, this isn't a desert and they're called desert sorceresses so hopefully we'll get some of their gear that I can read and then put on and look all pretty You do want to be careful swinging your stuff around because of the poison, uh, poison in those urns. Okay. 
it, it, that, this could be a dangerous chest in the last game. It's just a regular old trap that pushed me in that poison. Just gives you a torch. Up a little bit. Now, these guys are not having a fun time. And this is kind of a preview for the uh, coming boss. I believe there's one other thing to do here. Yes. I'm going to attempt to get down there. I got poisoned somehow. So let's stop that. And hopefully I don't die because of the jumping mechanics. Ha -ha. Uh, Dark Souls games. Look for these. If you do, don't step on anything on the ground. Like that. But make your enemies do it. Come on. Oh, he doesn't set it off. I thought he set it off. And he's probably heavier than me. He should have set it off that floor plate. Ah! Let me behind you. I just want to get behind you. I want that booty! Come on! Come on! Oh, yeah! Give me that ass, boy. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, it shoots arrows. And those can hurt your enemies. I believe. But they do, I guess the enemies do not uh, activate them. Mannequin top, I believe, won't tell us anything. Yeah, the peculiar art of puppetry. It looks alright. It's more of like a thiefy uh, set, though. They always just, they put these things here, and it's like, it's obviously a trap. Come on, guys. I've played this game enough. A heavy crossbow plus three. It's an inter it's interesting that they, in this game, they decided to give you upgraded uh, equipment. And plus three is also an odd choice. Because hopefully you would have uh, better than a plus three. Uh, the poison down there, like, you can get on that little walkway over there, but if you go down there, it actually, you'll just die. It's a death pit. It's too deep. All right, let's hit back and fight a boss. This boss is kind of... Uh, infamous, I guess? Not really the right word, because people don't necessarily hate it. They're mostly just bored by it, because it's often cited as the easiest boss in this game. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but it is rather simple to deal with. You'll see why. A covetous demon. One of the few bosses in here that are in this game that actually is called a demon. Um, demons in Dark Souls are actually a, I guess, a race. Uh, I don't believe this is actually one of those, though. I don't think the covetous demon... I think he's only a demon by name, but we'll, we'll find out when we're in the so, um, he's very slow. His attacks have a lot of startup and a lot of recovery. And you just walk around him and it's a very leisurely fight. And he's not too difficult. Now these over here just have poison in them. But that up there, if I had the foresight to equip a bow or a crossbow, like the one they gave me, you can actually hit that. Let's see if a soul arrow can do it. Yeah, it can. And the hollow will come out. Just give me some spit up. I'll get some hits. Look over here and he'll eat him. Giving you some free hit. 
I'm gonna try to eat him, but he's, he's too fast. Look at that. Look at my boy. Better than any summon. And it makes it even easier. Now, one thing that boss can do that's interesting that I didn't show you uh, is he can eat you. And when he does so, he'll spit you back up, but unequipped all your items, so you'll be naked. And that's probably the most dangerous thing he can do to you, but it's so hard for him to actually get that off because he's so slow that a lot of people don't see it. Soul of the covetous demons, demon that devours all things. Eating is an expression of desire. There once was a man whose deep affections were unrequited. He transformed into the, to the covetous demon, which only made him lonelier than before. Use the special soul to get shit. Um, that is why I don't believe he is a demon. Uh, I will talk a little bit more about demons in when they are rev more relevant. But demons are associated with pyromancy, and people typically do not turn into demons. Demons are instead created. Um, so I don't believe he is a demon. I believe he was changed either via his desire for souls, whatever. Uh, the mention of desire, though, is important, as that is quite a theme later on in the game. Here is where Lucatil used to be. It was in that area up there by this bonfire. Not quite sure why they moved her. Now, how long have I been going on? Give me one minute here. If I can... Uh, hour. I, I think that's good. Um... I think I'll end that this here. We'll continue our venture into the Earthen Peak next time. Um, I actually want to maybe start streaming something else, not in this format. More of a, not a blind playthrough of a game, but a game that I have not played nearly as much as this one, and that I haven't completed yet. Uh, I kind of want to do a Pillars of Eternity stream. Uh, I've played a lot of Pillars of Eternity, but again, I've never beaten it. Um, and I've been wanting to play the second one, because it looks cool with all the ship stuff and stuff like that, but I want to finish the first one first. Uh, that won't be in this kind of format, if I do it. And I don't even know if I would put it on YouTube, but it would just be me playing the game. And I, I'll talk about it like, like I do here, but I don't know nearly not as much about Pillows of Eternity. But that's, that's something for later, maybe. Uh, for now... I will continue the Earthen Peak next time I stream. Um, I also want to play some more Artifact, but again, not here nor there. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this was episode 7, I believe. Um, I, I love you very much. I, uh, okay? I, I said it. I said it. Alright, I love you. You beautiful bastard. I love you so much and you don't